Hello, hello, and welcome back to another stream. <laughs> Pretty excited today, because today I finally got my vaccine, my first shot or whatnot, so I was, like, keeping track of, like, how my arm's feeling and stuff, and I was like, it'd be cool to do some, like, <laughs> art to, like, I don't know, celebrate <laughs> or something, because there's not much else I could do today, because my, like, arm might get a little hurty as it goes along, so I was like, well, I think I feel up to doing some Photoshop art as per the usual, so I was like, let's do that. <laughs> so, with that all said, let's go ahead and get things set up and started rolling here in our Photoshop adventure, and hey, welcome to the stream! And so we should be able to see the Photoshop here in three, two, one, go. Yeah. And you could see me in the corner too. And I put my little, I got vaccinated pen on like Mooney, but it might be flipped around. I don't know what my, like if I mirrored the webcam or not. So you might not be able to read it, <laughs> but that's what that thing on Mooney says. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get a canvas set up here. As per the huge, gonna do a big ol' square. <laughs> As per always. And then... Also, I'm using my new headset again, so hopefully the audio does good today as well. <laughs> Still holding out hope for this headset, but so far it's been good for some things, and then kind of not so good for other things, so that's been pretty interesting, so... Ah oh, dang, they should have threw like a button like at you when you got it or something. I feel like they should like, I don't know, give rewards, give out like a McDonald's toy or something. <laughs> but I got a little button, so that was kind of cool. What, what should we even do to start this first post-vax like... <laughs> art piece. I don't know. Let's just do some gradient nonsense as per usual. I think I've said as per usual like four times already. I need to be stopped. <laughs> oh, is that, do they have that as like a deal that they have? It's like the, the Krispy Kreme free donut thing. That sounds kind of popping. I haven't had a donut in like so long. I feel like Oh, what's like, okay, what do we think is like the best type of donut? Like, what's your favorite type of donut, you think? Because mine's like boring. Mine's just like chocolate eclair, like, <laughs> go with that. So, I do wonder if there's a Krispy Kreme even like near here. Because I haven't visited or seen one since I got here. Ah, uh, yeah. Boston cream. That's pretty good. I'm a big fan of that. I think the only thing is, like, I don't know. I, I think this is what makes me feel like my, like, donut tastes are boring, is that I'm not a big fan of, like, donuts that have filling that's, like, you know, like, goopy, like, jelly stuff. Not the biggest fan of that kind of stuff, but... Sometimes you just need that goop, so <laughs> sometimes you just need to you just need to enjoy the the filling of the donut. Some of these okay, let's do color dodge, I think. Gives it more of that high contrast eyeball looking thing. And then should we go ahead and pull our coordinates up? Yeah! Okay, we will. <laughs> like, okay. Let's see here. I think that's kind of cool. That's kind of popping. And then I think I want to flip this upside down. Yeah, even just like a classic donut. Like, you can't really go wrong with it. It's like, pretty good. I kind of want donuts. <laughs> Why have I done this to myself a little bit? But luckily yesterday I went to grocery shopping and I got a bunch of stuff that's like 
easy to make, so even if, like, my arm, like, ended up, like, completely neutralized after getting the shot or whatever, it's like I can just, like, I think I only need one arm to make, like, bagel bites. <laughs> so I think I'll be good. Um, but I can also eat donuts with one hand, so... Tempting. <laughs> I think this piece is turning out cool so far, though. <laughs> Even though I haven't really been thinking about what I'm doing, like, whatsoever, like, at all. But sometimes it's just how it is. <laughs> you create the best art by just not using your brain whatsoever. Let's see. I kind of do like the saturation. The effect on it's kind of interesting. Though maybe we want to keep certain parts of it. Let's see here. Let's make a duplicate. And then maybe we want to uh, erase this top part. Keep that as like solid blue. And then, I don't know, do we want any blue down here? I kind of like that it's more unbalanced with the black being predominant down here, but... Maybe I'll make it blue. <laughs> I'm like, I like how it is, but what if I just don't? <laughs> what if I just change that? Who knows? But I think this is... Yeah, I think I like the black warm. <laughs> oh well. We're learning life lessons here, I suppose. Also, the one weird thing about my headset is, like, the other one, I can hear myself. Like, I have that side tone, so I could hear myself talking in it. But on this one, I can't at all. All I hear is the noise cancellation, and then I can feel, like, me talking, obviously. But I can't really hear how it sounds, so... <laughs> it's kind of unnerving a little bit. A little weird. Let's see, what more can we do to, like, bump this up? Let's jump into the filter gallery and see what's going on. See if we can, like, chrome it or something. I can understand that. It is kind of weird, but it's sometimes helpful for me for, like... I don't know. If I can't hear myself, I feel like I'm yelling. <laughs> you know? A little bit, but I don't think I am. Like, in actuality, it's just something I, like, I don't know, worry about, I guess. Oh, color dodge is kind of cool. What even is this piece so far? It's like Pac-Man being, like, sacrificed to the sun god. <laughs> it's kind of what this looks like right now. Oh, the invert's kind of weird. I'm kind of like, do I like the blue, per se? And also, this piece is still relatively simplistic as far as what we usually do. Let's do something funky to it. Let's just start messing with it. So if we take this and then we duplicate it and flip it and put this in the other corner. This is kind of what we did for one of my old pieces, which was like called like Chakra or something like that. Kind of had like this kind of stuff going on. And then I think I want to smooth out this area or something. Something like that, maybe. She's kind of interesting. Okay. <laughs> and then take that. What if we flip it around now? I kind of like it more upside down, I think, actually. I kind of want to extend this white part, like, down into the bottom. I'm not really sure what's a good way to go about approaching that, but maybe we'll just doodle. <laughs> maybe we'll just wing it. Uh, am I using the race tool? Dang it. <laughs> Let's just draw, I say, as I use the tool that does literally the opposite of drawing. <laughs> um, 
So if we just bring that in. Yeah, that looks bad, doesn't it? <laughs> Lessons learned. Um, but maybe we can fix it. I don't know. I don't know if we can, actually. <laughs> Sometimes you just make errors and then there's just nothing you can do. <laughs> there is no repair. Let's see, let's flip it and then we can like, you know, duplicate it over here or whatnot. I mean, that do not look too bad. <laughs> uh, merge, copy, and then if we give it like this, outer edge of blue that the thing it's connecting to kind of has. Maybe that'll help. Should I do outer glow, I guess? Yeah. And then we'll grab the blue, which luckily is a very easy blue to duplicate. And now we just got to kind of match the like thickness, which I think would be like there. And then we're going to rasterize that so it fuses together. And then we're going to delete part of it because part of it's hashtag unacceptable. <laughs> like that part we don't need. Um, it's going to be, maybe I need to like lower the opacity so I can see where it kind of like it ends. A little bit. So we'll go ahead and do that. <laughs> it's the scream or whatever. <laughs> um, let's. I don't know. Should we make that like the vibe? Should that be the objective we're thinking of? Can we could go with that. That's what we're feeling is like screaming today. That could be cathartic. <laughs> I'm still surprised when I got like the vaccine or whatnot. I don't like scream or like, I don't know, tense up or like, I don't know, my head didn't spin around or anything. <laughs> like, didn't go weird. It's like, I'm still waiting on my like X Men superpowers to kick in, but. Maybe in a couple hours we'll get we'll get somewhere with that. <laughs> I don't remember if I told you or one of my other friends, but I was like, if I turn into Cyclops from the X Men, I'm going back to get the vaccine taken out of me. It's like I don't want that one. I don't want to be. <laughs> if I turn into Scott Summers, it's over. I don't want that. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Or Jean Grey, honestly, but the limitless power kind of thing seems a little appealing, but the whole, oh, Scott, I got a headache, I can't, the phoenix is coming out, like, <laughs> it's like, I guess I could, I could use that to, like, get out of classes or something. I don't know, I'm just so tired of Cyclops and Jean Grey, like, we have, like, a million X-Men and we just keep... <laughs> Just keep use, just keep doing the Phoenix Saga, like... <laughs> have we not had enough? <laughs> have we not had enough of the Phoenix Saga by this point? Because I know I have. Um... How can I, like, feather this? Let's see, I am using the Erase tool, so... That's good. Okay, we can fix that bit. That's good. That's interesting, whatever that is. But it doesn't really, like, I kind of like all this weird stuff that's going on, too. So maybe I'll just do that, and then let's... I don't really know if this is going to merge together in any sort of coherent way. But we'll try. <laughs> we'll try and make it work. Maybe not. Maybe it's an impossibility. A fiction that I'm telling myself in hopes it'll become truth. 
Oh yeah, S speaking of fiction, I published <laughs> my short story yesterday, so that's kind of cool. It's like, I thought about publishing it today, but then I was like, because it's like, oh, that would be cool release on the first day of May or whatnot, but then I was like, oh, I have my appointment, and I don't know if I would be feeling up to it, because publishing takes some effort. <laughs> like, gotta do like a million like posts on like social media and stuff. It's like, it's like, dang, so much work. But yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's nice, finally. Having a short story out in the world, even though I did have my one short story published back in 2014 or whatnot, it's nice to have, like, another, like, piece of prose or whatnot, I guess. So, it is cool. I'm very happy about it. I think I'm just gonna add random, like, bubble detail weird stuff. <laughs> Down here at the bottom for like accent work or something. I don't know. Give us some symbolism or something. I should have done that on a separate layer because then I could have like messed around with it more. Also, it's probably not symmetrical whatsoever. Let's find out how unsymmetrical it is. <laughs> Wildly unsymmetrical. <laughs> That's okay. Why is this all like not? black now. Kind of weird. Also, I think this is a new song. I don't think we've heard this one on stream before. Also, my voice just went out. Uh, <laughs> hate when that happens. It's like such betrayal by my own vocal cords. I wish my voice was more consistent or something. But it just isn't. It's like, uh, yeah, <laughs> I added like, what, like 30 new songs to the playlist, so hopefully we hear some of them mixed in here and there with our good old faithful songs as well. I don't know if I like the. I guess it's better if it's black up here, I guess. Uh, I don't know, is that better? That might be better. I like that this is kind of like a mirror in the center. It's kind of cool. Hold on, let's... Let's take the blue again. We blew those sections. Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of dig it. And then, what if we... I don't know. Do something. <laughs> Flip it upside down. What happens if we do make it symmetrical? Like, does is it bad? Is it pretty bad? I mean, that's not so bad. But I don't think that's exactly what I want. But let's see what we can do. We could give it like a little platform down here. I kind of like that. That's pretty good. We need to erase parts of it. I still always think this is like the Pokemon, like, what is it, Sword and Shield, like, fight music. <laughs> Every time I hear this song, I'm like, that's immediately what I think about. Um, I feel like we need something over here on the sides, but I don't really know what. So let's see what we can make as far as that goes. Um, that could be cool. Oh, what does the sphere look like? I mean, that's kind of cool. But, let's go ahead and do the opposing polar coordinate to dealio thingy. And then I kind of want to stretch this part out. But I kind of don't want all this stuff up here. I do like parts of what I'm erasing, though. So I guess I need to be a little bit more careful. That is the downside of the big brush. <laughs> it's like, you erase perhaps too much. It's not very detail-oriented. Let's see. 
Ah, oh, dang it. I didn't realize that spiral was part of the lair I was erasing. Oh no! You must preserve the, the spirals. If Junji Ito has taught me anything. <laughs> I don't know. Is this better? Kind of. Maybe we should stretch it out more, per se. Or what if we bring it back in now? Honestly, that's not bad. That's not terrible. Let's go ahead and make it symmetrical, though. <laughs> Um, yeah, I kind of like that. I think that's pretty good. I mean, it's kind of weird where it, like, fades in up here, but I'll see if we can fix that a little bit. Screen. <laughs> the holes in the wall one always gets me. Also, I love watching his, or, like, seeing his, like, stuff that's just about, like, his, him and his cats. <laughs> But it's still got his weird, like, art style. So funny. Love that stuff so much. How do I fix this? What if I just... Okay. Radical idea here, but what if I just... Ah, I'm still using the eraser tool. <laughs> <laughs> Man, getting vaccinated really threw off my <laughs> my normal photoshopping abilities today, didn't it? Okay, that looks awful. <laughs> so my idea is not working. So now we need something along like the top or whatever. Well, if we just do a line, I don't know. Yeah, sure. So if we just do this and then we just... Um, kind of. I might have to do it manually. It might not just do the effect that I want spontaneously. This might require some effort on my behalf, I guess. As unfortunate as that is, but... Um, let's see. I kind of want it to fade behind this circle. Okay, so we're going to do that. So it kind of like goes behind it and then like pops out the other end or whatever. I think that's kind of what we're going for. Yeah, and then I don't want it to mess with any of this stuff. I think that part's cool. Okay, color dodge might not be the one, but I don't think normal's the one either. Screen's not too bad though. Okay, we'll do screen. I think that seems feasible, but you can still tell it like fades away a little bit, so let's get up in there and fix that stuff. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> screen for the screen. <laughs> uh, I wonder if rewatching like the Scream movies, if they still like hold up, like the horror films or whatnot. But I don't know. kind of don't want it to fully merge into this part, but I kind of am fine with it, I guess. No, I'm not fine with it. I changed my mind. <laughs> it's unacceptable. Um, let's go ahead and make sh it like go behind to this stuff, I guess. Those are race like, I did not make this symmetrical whatsoever. <laughs> the curse. The curse. Okay. Let's see if that's better. No. Okay. <laughs> it's not. So we're fine with this. Okay. Got it. I don't know. Is this piece done? 
Kind of want something more down here at the bottom, though. Kind of want just this part to be repeated down there. The song's too happy. <laughs> we need something with more emotion than just simple happiness. We need complexity. There we go. <laughs> Whatever mood this song is, I'm not quite sure, but we'll go with it. Um, so how to fix this? What am I thinking? I just take this stuff. Okay, I'm not sure if I got it all, but looks good enough to me. Um, okay, and then flip it upside down. Okay, a little wacky. All right. Part of it is horribly wrong, but that's okay. Oh, ah, happy. <laughs> oh, no. I remember that I did, like, a dance video to that once when I was doing, like, hip-hop dance club stuff. Uh, I wonder if I could find that video at some point. I think it was, like, posted to, like, the school, like like stuff i don't know if it was like the school instagram or whatever but if i can ever find that maybe maybe i'll share it <laughs> i don't even remember what the choreography was though but i know we like slapped it together in like a day so it probably wasn't gonna win us any like awards <laughs> that's for sure but uh, one of these days. I just wonder how to get around, like, the music copyrights. Like, if you play DDR on stream or something like that. I just wonder how that works. But I think this piece might be done, though. Let's see if we can do some filter gallery stuff so it has more texture of some sort. And then, then once we've done that, then we'll call it good, I think always do this kind of look if it'll work um maybe it won't work with this one dang <laughs> okay maybe we gotta do the opposite then i mean that definitely gets like the outline but i like all the white parts but i kind of want like a balance. Okay, so maybe Glowing Edges is not the one. She's not the one today. Okay. Let's figure something else out. Because we could do Chrome again. Chrome is kind of cool. I like the other... The other slider settings better, I think. Okay, maybe Chrome's not the one either. <laughs> okay, well. What to do? What to do? If Chrome doesn't work, it's like, what will? Emboss, maybe? <laughs> um, do it like 90 degrees. I ain't thinking boss is gonna do it. Oh no. <laughs> what have we done to this piece to make him boss not even work? Wow. Okay, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> I mean we could always keep using the oil paint one. We've been using that quite a bit and it's gotten us some stuff. Uh let's do it on the inversion though. Oil paint. Oil paint. I'll just do it a couple times, then invert. I kind of hate that, though. <laughs> oh no. So maybe it is just done. I'm not really quite sure what to do with it. Hmm. 
if we just merge it with itself does that give us anything cool oh we could do that weird thing where it's like you take the layer and then you move it slightly off of itself and then use divide or one of these though then it might look kind of like smudged is the only like worry yeah Dang, even that didn't work. <laughs> Maybe this one's just done. I don't know. We'll use like hue saturation on it and see what happens. Um, see if we like any other colors besides the blue. It's like a mint green's kind of speaking to me. I'm not mad at that one see what else we got red red's fine yeah so let's see i guess what if we do one version that's one thing and then we like fuse them together will that do anything cool for us no. <laughs> she says no. But yeah, either this or the... Oh, you like the light blue? We could look at that too. Okay. Light blue. Let's see here. Like this kind of shade, I think. That's not too bad. Green, blue, dark blue. Yeah, I don't know which one I like more. Hmm. I think the green's kind of fun because it's kind of like... I don't know. Ghosty, spirity vibes, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Spiritual possession vibes. <laughs> so maybe we'll go with that. Also, we don't really have anything that's like these colors. I don't think we really have like mint grainy stuff that much so I think we'll go with that I guess we'll name this possession then I can do that let me find my folder to actually save it in <laughs> um, and we're on stream number 27 we're getting up there in the digits okay so possession okay and then yeah and then we'll move on to another piece <laughs> i went to like stretch my arm and i was like maybe this is a bad idea i don't know but arm that i got my shot in or whatnot i got on my left it's not too bad which is good <laughs> so hopefully that holds up the rest of the day but let's go ahead and get our next canvas <laughs> I think I want to just like draw for this one and then we'll mess it up from there. I don't know what this brush is so <laughs> we'll give it a shot. Let's pick some random color. I'll do like this weird like mauve. Oh this isn't a brush this is like a smudge brush. Okay. How do I change my brush now though? <laughs> It won't let me. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I can't do anything. Oh god. Do I have to close Photoshop? Um, there we go. It did something. Alright, so that brush is haunted. Good to know. <laughs> okay, can't use that one. Lame, but alright. Uh, we'll use pencil, I guess. Weird. I don't really know if this is what pencils draw like but that's okay um just draw like a random shape of things here and then we'll go ahead and just like put a gradient over the top of it i suppose why not and then use those together sure do another duplicate that'll be like something weird um hard mix sure I'll do that okay something to start with i guess 
go ahead and flip it around. Combine it with itself and it kind of turns into nothing. <laughs> oh well. I mean, that's not that bad. We can work with that. Not a big fan of the colors per se, though. I also kind of want to do... Giant Smudge. I don't know why I'm feeling this, but I am. Yeah, I'm just, like, waiting for the arm pain to, like, kick in. To, like, high gear. <laughs> it's like... Ew. We'll try that. Because I don't know what that is. Okay. Give that a shot. Okay. Also, this music kind of sounds like the music from Marble Blast Ultra. Which, after my stream of it, is a little triggering. <laughs> a little bit. I just think about that battle mid stage that I spent, like, forever on. It's like, uh, so rough. My mouse not working. Come on. <laughs> Come on, girl. We can make it through. <laughs> um, let's try paintbrush up here. I don't know if this was the right color, per se, for that, but it's not bad. So at least there's that. I don't know what's up with this dot there, but okay. Um, filter gallery time. Just gonna pick something. We'll try chrome again. We'll give it its redemption. <laughs> Here's its chance to show itself for the superstar it truly is. Um, some of these were kind of okay. Kind of like that. It's a weird aesthetic. Okay. Try that. We'll do another filter gallery. Maybe now we can do glowing edges. We're getting somewhere. I'm not quite sure where that is, but we're getting somewhere. This aesthetic is interesting, though. I don't really know what it is, but it's like the juxtaposition of the flat colors and then like the heavy outlining is kind of like cool. <laughs> so that's good. Um, Do we like it brighter, though? Kinda. Maybe, like, half of that? No, I think it should be full extreme. Just go crazy. <laughs> Why not? Um... Let's see what we could do here. I always forget what Shear does, because we never really use it a whole lot. We do that, and then we flip it. The song has so much drama. Divide's kind of interesting here. I don't really... Kind of funky. Okay, and then we'll do another flip. I just want a symmetrical background. It's not too much to ask for. <laughs> um, let's see here. I like these colors too. It's very like oceany. Um, very Hawaii vacation. Okay. Well, darker color. I guess we could do that, and then we could darken it up, maybe, and that'll work. Perhaps. I'm glad you're digging the vibes. 
man, Photoshop's like sometimes just like does not do anything that it shows in the preview. Like those are two different images. <laughs> like this is not the product I was promised, but okay. Um Let's try overlaying them and see if something cool comes out. That's interesting. I think this is interesting too. So we'll try both of those. Okay. I don't remember which ones I said was interesting, but we're just going to go with it. Um, let's see here. I don't know. We'll do this just for some color variation, I suppose. Okay. I went from Hawaii to like I don't know what this is now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what vibes this thing is giving off anymore. Sure is something though. Let's try and orb it up maybe. See what happens. Oh, this orb's kind of cool. I actually like this one. That's good. Um, so we'll take that and we'll take this. And then multiply, but kind of like erase the stuff we don't want per se. I kind of want to keep that relatively simple. Okay, and then we'll just have the background, I think. I should probably stop doing this all in one motion. That way, if I have to undo parts, I don't have to like redo the whole thing. I need to be more cognizant of that. But I think that's kind of cool. That's not bad. Well, we just have to make it symmetrical, maybe. And then add perhaps a smidge more to the backdrop. And then... And then she might be good to go. I don't know. see here like I would multiply or darken yeah I guess I want darken okay not bad okay and then what happens if we drag these colors back over it and then like do something hmm Okay, what is this? I don't know, but this is kind of cool. The colors are a little like messy, but it's interesting. This is kind of cool too. I don't mind that. Um, I don't know which versions I like. Okay, we're just gonna take all of them. <laughs> we're just gonna grab all of them. Oh, that actually turned out kind of interesting. Okay, anyways. Um, lighter color is kind of cool too. Okay. Uh, overlay is kind of cool too. We're gonna have like 90 options of like the same thing. <laughs> 
sometimes this is how it be. Um... I think like difference better. Okay, and then just duplicate that and yank that up. Okay, let's look at our variations here and see which ones we like. Okay. So we got her. I like this one a lot. Mm, kind of like this one too, but... Perhaps something in between those two could be cool. This one just needs, like, I don't know. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> That's too much. Um, and that was kind of like the OG one, which I'm not too fond of the colors. I think the other versions are better, so I think maybe going with some version in between these two might be the way to go. Get it to a point where it's like dark enough, but not so much that it's like ugly. <laughs> oh no, I don't think lighter color is the one. Difference kind of funky. Okay. Uh, divide's kind of cool too. Luminosity is not good. <laughs> oh well. Okay. Yeah, so maybe it does just need to be like opacity between the two. Or what if we this might be a bad idea. I don't know. We'll find out here. Okay. We make that one like that. Yeah, then it's just blurry. Dang it. <laughs> Worth a shot, though. Okay. Undo, undo. Okay. Okay, redo. Or what if we did this and then we just did, like, uh... What is it? Glowing edges? Hmm. Not good. Well, that's not too bad, actually. That gives, like, a little bit of line weight, so it's got the details and stuff. Yeah, I think this is cool. Well. Yeah, I think it's better than that. Why does that look different, though? I don't know. <laughs> it just suddenly looks different than when I thought it looked like in my head like 20 seconds ago. But I think this is kind of cool. Uh, maybe let's fiddle with some settings here real quick. We could try wiggling around the colors, but I kind of like the colors as they were. Yeah. So I think that's that for this one. That one felt pretty fast. I don't know what to call this, though. <laughs> um. Thoughts, ideas. <laughs> what if we just name it Thoughts? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know a good name for this one. Let's see. Interesting. I'm just stalling while I try and have my brain come up with the name. <laughs> That's what this is. Um, 
Plants. Uh... All right. Um. <laughs> Any ideas? I don't know. I got nothing. I don't know what to name it. Why don't we just name it Idea? <laughs> Do the names truly matter? <laughs> as long as they give a vibe. It's like some sort of abstract. Idea. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Never looking back. <laughs> Might come up with some genius title to it later when I put it on the like Teespring and stuff all. I guess we'll all look forward to that, but will I come up with a better name? No. <laughs> Probably not, but that's okay. Okay. So we got that. Um, let's pick... Maybe we should do one black and white piece. We haven't done one yet today. I do like that last stream, everything we did turned out blue. <laughs> Like, there was one black and white piece, and then everything else was, like, the same shades of blue. <laughs> so, love when stuff like that happens. Um, it's like a little stick figure shape. Okay, we got that. Uh, let's go ahead and emboss this one. Why not? Um, do that. Okay. Well, if we do that same weird thing where we do, like, the motion blur really heavily, and then we, like, mix that in. In some way, shape, or form, there's gotta be a way to make this cool looking. <laughs> okay. Works for me. <laughs> Why not? Um, okay. And then... Get, like, chrome or something? I don't really know. Uh, yeah. Cool. That has, like, depth to it, kind of. Okay, we got that, and then let's go ahead and flip one of them around and make another symmetrical something or other out of this somehow. I mean, that's kind of spooky Yuki already. Also, I very suddenly feel the arm pain starting to kick in, so... That's good. <laughs> Love that. Um, but we just have to make it through two more art pieces, and then we'll be okay. <laughs> um... I don't know if I like the full spooky ooky or if I like the like more abstract spooky ooky. We'll go with the abstract for now. And then merge the two together to make I don't know. It's like weird crow. <laughs> weird crow demon. Um We got the spooky, we got the ooky. She's here. Coming to theaters <laughs> this summer. Spooky ooky girl. <laughs> so, uh, can we have more just like dumb horror movies? I kind of like miss that. Where it's like just like, I don't know, like 1950s like the blob like horror. Which I guess was like really freaky to people at the time. And the concept is still kind of scary if you think about it. Just an unstoppable blob consuming everything in its path. Um, but we need more just dumb movies, I think. That needs to be more of a thing. Oh, weird. Okay. I don't know why, but just making those sounds like on B or what that is like, um, I can see that being like the intro to like a really terrible rap track. Well, now it's like Rorschach ink blot test, so, um. It's 
Like, I want something that's like a little Rorschach, and then something that's like a little bit not. <laughs> something that's just not related to it conceptually whatsoever. That'd be cool. Um, but you can't escape the ink blots, they're always there. I mean, <laughs> there's the summer. The Rorschach ink blot test. <laughs> uh, I don't know what this is. It's not that scary anymore, I feel like. I think the scariness value has suddenly worn down, but maybe that's just because my arm's hurting more, so I'm like, oh, this pain will distract me from any fear. <laughs> It is insulating. It is comforting. Um, something like that, maybe? I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's try, like, rotating this or something. Do something. Uh... Well, if we like shift her over and then we have like the other side of it shifted over as well and then we do a different blending mode I don't really know where I'm going with this um color dodge Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. Um, what can we do? It's not too bad. Like the pain isn't like insufferable. It's just more noticeable now. Like I can actually like kind of feel it kicking in. Um. Well, now it's not scary. Now it just kind of looks cool. <laughs> it's like, I don't really know what this is, but it's kind of neat. Um, okay. Let's just get like a black background. Let's get like a fuzzy brush. We'll kind of like carve away at the cheekbone here using our contour palette. Um, kind of do something like that. I kind of want like maybe eyes down in like the corner or something. I don't know. I don't know. Um, crop. Well, hold on. Hold on. What was all up in that? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's let's get some of that in here. Maybe some of whatever that is. Um let's add that in. Sure. Okay, so we have that now, whatever that is. Um, we have it. Um, flip that upside down. Now we have like a spire situation going on, which is always cool. Um, I think one of these blending modes is gonna give us something. Why do I just like this? I don't know. All right. <laughs> like, I'm not really sure what it is about that. This kind of looks like a dragon skull. Okay. <laughs> we'll have some options here. We have dragon skull. We have weird half crescent thing that for some reason my brain is like, ooh, pretty. 
and then we can do light and I think it's pretty good. I like it because it's almost like this is like water wave texture like building up into like I don't know I guess this is just Bioshock. <laughs> it's like the tower in the sea or whatever. It's like that's what it is. Um, so what if we oh yeah we can like crop it now. Okay. So if we have weird dragon skull And then somehow add the crescents in there somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure something out. Okay. Yeah. And now we have Sailor Moon's like wand thingy. Like, does this, like, corner detail, like, help? <laughs> does this add anything? I don't know. Does it? I don't know. I don't know if it does. I don't know. <laughs> It was just a thought. It was an attempt at a thought, I guess. Um, maybe if we have it, like, there or something? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's just, like, flip the dragon around and see if we can get those cheekbones popping. Okay. We got the highlight. Um, <laughs> um, like, what is this? Why is this and what does it add? What does it contribute? <laughs> as part of a co- As like a co-worker at the office, what is her job and is she doing it well? Like, I just want, like, a pillar floating off in the middle of nothing just so there's something in the void down here. But I feel like that's kind of, like, dumb. So, I don't know. Uh, let's just go back to our Bioshock. And then see if we can add the Bioshock. Oh! Well, that's kind of cool because then you have, like, the Dragon Skull and then it goes into the ocean and then he's got arms. <laughs> I guess. Um, not bad. Not bad. I don't like this part up here, though, per se. <laughs> Is it fun listening to me, like, interpret my own, like, abstract pieces and just being like, oh, that's totally what it is, even though it's like, these are just shapes and suggestions <laughs> on the computer screen. Like, it's like making sense out of like stuff that doesn't inherently have sense, but I think that's kind of the core of art now that I think about it, but interesting to think about. Um kind of like lighter color more, I think. Do we need to do something up here though, I'm wondering? I don't know. Also, my phone's, like, popping off, and I'm not paying any attention. That's okay. I'll check on it later. <laughs> but I think this is kind of looking kind of cool. I just wonder if it should be more, like, high contrast or something. Like, the ocean part. But I think if it goes more high contrast, it just disintegrates into the oblivion. So, hmm. Well, yeah, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> I don't really know what more to do to it. I just feel like these like upper, like these corners need something or they just need to be like carved away completely. But I don't really know. 
So, let's figure something out, I guess. Um, so, if we flip this around, what even is this image? Okay. Got it. Um, well, that makes the dragon more high contrast, which I think is somewhat unnecessary. I kind of like it subtract here. Yeah, I think subtract kind of is cool. I don't really like it for what it's doing in the water. She needs to get out of the water park. Um, okay, we got that. And then kind of the stuff over here is kind of unnecessary. I don't think we need all that. We don't need that drama in our lives. Um, and then what else do we not need from this? Like that? Maybe I should use the soft eraser. Okay. Swap and erasers. Okay. Yeah, I, I think that's good. I agree with my choices there. And then... Yeah, I don't know. And then I kind of want to carve into the sides a little bit more. I guess it's the only other thing I'm thinking. But I want to do that with a brush that is not nonsense. <laughs> so... I don't really know if this is the one, but... We'll figure it out. Um... Multiply? Something's wrong here, I don't know. Like, I did similar selections, I thought, but they're, like, acting completely different. <laughs> I don't really know why that is, but that's okay. But I think I like hard mix, and then if we... I don't know. Flatten all that. Well, then it'll, like, kind of pop back in, but that's okay. I think I like the right half more, and then I'll just flip it over and duplicate it, and then I think that'll be good, maybe. Um, for this, like, weird dragon skull thing that we have created and unleashed upon the world. Okay. I only feel the arm pain whenever I actually, well, I guess whenever I actually use the arm. I guess that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> I was like, every time I use, like, Control z and stuff with it, it's like I kind of feel the pain a little bit, but... Kind of makes sense that that is how it would be. <laughs> Like, okay. Is this done now? Hmm. Maybe let's up the contrast a bit and see where that takes us. I actually kind of like it lower contrast, I guess. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Indecisiveness kicking back in. I kind of, yeah, I like low contrast, I think, more. Okay, I think this one's good. I guess we just need a dragon, right? <laughs> um, perfect. Dragon. Uh, perfect. And then we have like a whole like 50 minutes still left of stream to like make our fourth piece. Somehow this is like the fastest like ending stream we've ever had. Which I guess is good, because it kind of, like, spares my arm a little bit. But at the same time, it feels weird to do art stream that's not, like, two hours long. Um, 
but we'll see how it goes. Maybe this last piece will take us 50 minutes. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Let's go crazy. We have all the time in the world. <laughs> Could do a time challenge for like five minutes and see what happens. That'd be funny. But, um, we'll just do more drawing stuff, I guess. Let's try the ultimate charcoal pencil. So, let's pick a random color. We haven't done like red today, like salmon. Ooh. I felt like, I was like about to say, I was like, I don't think I've ever done like an art thing that's taken like so much time because I don't really have like the patience. But then I remember like, oh, like editing films and stuff like that. It does kind of take a while. And I guess I've done that stuff. So, so I guess once again, <laughs> I'm betrayed by the reality of my actions against my perception of myself. <laughs> I guess I do have patience somewhere inside of me. I like how this looks like a weird face already, and I kind of dig that, and we're going to go with that. <laughs> um, We're just going to, like, stretch her out more so we can actually, like see the face so we could get the full like great gatsby cover art effect going on here okay now we just need to make it like stand out okay linear burn helps a little bit what happens if we just invert it at this point she's gone <laughs> She has disappeared. Um, I guess we're just gonna keep multiplying until she is fully visible. I think that's pretty good. Okay. We got that going. This top hurts a little funky, but... Okay, we got that. Okay, now we gotta fix the top part somehow. Through magic. Um... What was that one pencil I used to use that would, like, spin around and, like turn into stuff. <laughs> Where did that go? Um, it's not this one. It's not the splatter brush. Uh, um, is it the pencil? Oh, it might be a pencil. Okay. The more you know. Okay, maybe it's not. <laughs> maybe it wasn't pencil. Wow. <laughs> Whoops. But that's okay. Um, so I got all that smudgy stuff going on. Okay. Got that. Let's go ahead and emboss that for literally no reason. Um... That just looks like a spider. <laughs> That's okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with this thing, but okay. Uh, I guess she could have like blush on her cheeks or something. Let's just put that up here. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where this is going, but okay. I guess that's the magic of this, isn't it, truly? Um, what happens if we just emboss the whole piece, though, actually? I kinda like this... <laughs> I kinda like this space. 
It's kind of got like the Kylie Jenner like duck lips going on. Kind of a big fan. Um, <laughs> okay, and then let's fix it if we can. We might not be able to. <laughs> See it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. I feel like, I don't know, it's gotta be like this or something. But I want like the darkness to come back in the image, but I feel like if it gets too dark, then it won't have the effect. I kinda like this though, that's kinda weird. Is this a new song? I don't remember these beats. Um. Let's see. Mm. I don't know. Like, I'm kind of digging where this is going, but this face is so funny looking. <laughs> so it's like hard to take seriously a little bit. Um. Let's see here. What if we do gray? Well, mm, I don't know. I don't think that's the way to go. I don't know what I'm doing with this brush. <laughs> what is this brush? Um, if we just like erase like a circle in the middle of the lips or something. I'm just trying to come up with ideas here and I'm like, I don't really know what would be good. Let's get the salmon color that we started with back in here though. Also, the strings in that song kind of sounded like a Lost Kingdoms level a little bit. Okay. Could do something like that. What does it mean? I don't know. <laughs> it's symbolism. Um, I shouldn't have made it green to represent uh, the green light. Um... <laughs> Lord's green light uh, from the Great Gatsby. <laughs> um, interesting. We're getting somewhere, I think. Right? <laughs> I think so. I kind of hate these colors, though. I just don't know. They're kind of bad, but in, like, a fun way. <laughs> I guess. We'll keep messing with it. It's fine. Um... Make brightness. That's kind of fun. Okay, interesting. That's terrible. Okay. Maybe something between these two. Oh, interesting. Okay. Hmm. Okay. We're going somewhere. We're getting somewhere. How do we feel about this piece so far, actually? <laughs> what are we thinking? Um, oh, she makes a good orb, actually. <laughs> I think this orb might be the way to go, actually. I kind of like this. 
but then we're gonna get rid of the face. Well, she's still there. She's just like in the background. She, she's kind of chilling. I kind of like this a lot. It's kind of cool. Um, what other versions of it do we like? Should probably keep a brighter version just in case. Um, cause then we can kind of like mix and match the two a little bit. But I actually like this a lot. This is kind of cool. Hmm. Do we like the colors? I think I actually do like the colors. Hmm. <laughs> well, <laughs> is it done? Is this it? I kind of, I don't know. I don't really know what else to do with this thing. Let's flip it upside down and see if that's somehow like better or worse. Eh, it's kind of worse. I think it's only worse because it gets a little jellyfish looking. And I can't do that. <laughs> I can't have that in my life right now. <laughs> Is this cool? Kind of want that to stay bright. I kind of want this to stay bright too. Kind of want the bottom to stay bright also. So you know, <laughs> never mind. Um, that certainly was an idea and experience. I think this one might be done. I don't really know what else to do with it. I can make more of like the red circles like over here or something, but beyond that, I don't really know. Um, so red circles. Well, we make them semi-circles instead. So if we take that and then if we like delete part of it. Hmm. <laughs> it's all just happy little accidents. I wonder what Bob Ross would think about my Photoshop art. I don't think this adds anything, does it? <laughs> it's just there to take up space. Yeah, is that? I don't think that adds anything. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, too many red dots, I guess. Um. Well, okay. Well, that's done. Uh, I think we should make a fifth piece, cause like, why not? Uh, what do we name this though? Um. It feels very, like, chakra-y, but we already have a piece named Chakra. I don't know. Balance? We might already have a piece named Balance, too. <laughs> Dang it, we're using up all the words. Gotta get a bigger vocabulary for these names. Um... Can name it Worldview, maybe? I don't know. That works. Hmm. Can name it Universe? <laughs> we just need a free word associated. Let's get like a random word generator. Hold on. Okay. Random word generator. Why aren't there a random art name generator? Art name generator. <laughs> this might work. Okay, um... Come on, girl, load. Are you having problems titling your artwork? Yeah. <laughs> That's me. Okay. Oh, these are giving me ridiculous names. Departure of Hate in Three Stages. I actually kind of dig that. Okay. Um, 
metamorphosis and purpose. Boy descending the guy. Um, <laughs> what does that mean? Um, morphism. That's pretty good. Um, oh, these are just remix versions of like actual like art titles, isn't it? Because there's like lady descending a staircase or whatever. Um, circumstance, maybe. I don't know. Pataphysical. What does that mean? We're learning words today. That's the stream now. What does pataphysical mean? A uh, French concept of a philosophy or science dedicated to studying what lies beyond the realm of metaphysics. Intended as a parody of the methods and theories of modern science and often expressed in nonsensical language. Okay, so it's a parody of science. Okay. Well, I don't know if that's fitting. <laughs> kind of what I do might be a parody of science a little bit, but, you know, we'll keep... We'll keep clicking the button. We'll see what we get. Um, passenger. That's good. Translation. I like that also. But none of these feel like the one. Significance. That works. Um... I guess I like translation. I think that works. All right, who cares? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Translation it is. Okay. Um, names don't matter. It's fine. <laughs> I still remember when I entered one of my, like, Milk Baby, like, photos into a art gallery. And I think I straight up named it, like, Landscape on Canvas, but, like, it's not a landscape, and it wasn't even on canvas. <laughs> I was just kind of like, I don't know, make it funny. Why not? Just go crazy. I think one of the other ones was titled, like, Building, and it was... Is that one behind me? Yeah, I entered this one. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but... <laughs> I called it building. Hello. How's it going? How's it going, Moose? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> We've made four pieces so far. I could show you what we got so far. And then we're, we have like 30 minutes left before I'll probably get dinner or whatnot. So I'll probably just make a fifth piece. But here's what we have so far if you want to catch up. <laughs> so we have this one named Possession idea <laughs> and then this one's like a dragon so we just named it dragon <laughs> okay no worries and then yeah translation that was all the pieces we've done so far but it's nice of you to pop in <laughs> so no worries about having to go or anything but let's start on our fifth piece i'm glad you like the dragon one <laughs> cool Okay, so now that we named our fourth piece, let's just wing a fifth one. I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> We've kind of used like a lot of our like main colors so far, so maybe we should try and tackle a yellow piece again. Cause we always try and start doing yellow one and then I always abandon yellow like immediately. <laughs> so we'll see. Maybe we'll do yellow and red. I don't know. We'll channel some like McDonald's color schemes here. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Let's just do some random, like, gradients, and we'll start that way, I suppose. So, we already got the McDonald's going pretty strong. Let's see. Hmm. I kind of like this, like, Pac-Man shape kind of interesting and then let's get like the yellow sun thing like more in there 
Okay, difference versus exclusion. I guess I'm gonna go difference. Okay. There's not a whole lot of yellow up in this one. <laughs> so let's paint bucket some yellow back in. Okay. <laughs> or we can paint bucket yellow now. Okay. Yeah, we'll do yellow there. Cool. And then let's do some polar coordinates from the get go. Why not? Even though it's, it's kind of melty, but I think the meltiness is not bad, maybe, if we can, like, work it into something reasonable. I kind of like this because it's kind of like a little, like, a bat with little fangs. <laughs> it's, like, it's kind of fun. Okay. I think we made one piece before that was titled a bat. So we'll have to come up with... Man, we're just going to struggle with titles today. It seems to be the theme. Let's see here. I think I like this, but I don't quite like how bright it is. But maybe like there is pretty good. And then if we paint bucket in here... I think that helps, kinda. And let's see what else we got going on in here. Because we could either stick with the bat theme or we could just go completely off the wall and make something random. <laughs> Which is probably inevitably what's gonna happen anyways. This song's so dramatic. Let's find something a little less crazy. Let's see if we can find a new song, actually. I think this one's new, but this one's really dramatic, so... <laughs> so that's fine. Um, we'll go with that. Let's see. Flip this around. Use it together. I don't know what that is, but it's kind of cool. the drama. Oh, maybe this could be like the lower half of the bat's face, maybe? Let's see if these fuse well at all. Not really. Hmm. Some of these are interesting, though, like this. I don't really know what's going on there, but it's kind of cool. So maybe we can mess around with that more. And then if we, like, shrink down this part, maybe it can be... Something? <laughs> I don't really know what, though, but we'll figure it out here. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, and then... Wait, is that just built in, like, part of the image? Hold on a second. Or is that part of this image? Or is that part of this image? can't really tell. <laughs> like, where is this coming from? But... Oh, there we go. <laughs> He's very mad. I was thinking it kind of looked like the mouth of, like, a little bat. <laughs> this is kind of like what it feels like a little bit. I don't know how far to stretch this out, but... And then why if we make sure it's symmetrical and then fuse those together and then kind of like feather the edges a little bit so it makes more sense with the 
curvature of the jaw shape or whatever. And then that part just needs to be carved in a little. Sure. Okay. <laughs> we'll work with that. We'll go with whatever this is. And then we could fuse it with this and see if something horrible comes out. <laughs> Why not? Um, yeah, I don't think those mix together very well. So if we flip this upside down now... Does it being symmetrical look cool at all? I like how this shape in the middle is just like a weird lemon. <laughs> That's kind of fun. For some reason, I don't mind the weird lemon, though. I just don't know which version of weird lemon that I prefer. If it's vivid light or hard mix. But we'll go with both of them. I like that this one seems to have more, like three-dimensionality to it, but this one's cool because it doesn't have that. <laughs> so pros and cons to both, I guess. Um, what if we combine the two somehow? Um, sure. Okay. Okay, weird lemon. Got that. Let's flip that on its side. <laughs> Still got like 22 minutes left to like stream and do whatever before dinner, so we'll just kind of see where this one goes because I don't really know. I think I do just want to make it a lemon though. So let's take the yellow color. It's just a lemon now. Well, maybe we should change the background colors then. So we'll go with the hue saturation. Let's go here and then make it a lemon. Okay. And then maybe we'll try that weird blur effect that we did before. <laughs> oh, it is kind of like Jetson-y, isn't it? Also, I think this is a new song and it's kind of like weird. <laughs> the song is very interesting. Um, let's go with that. So now we have weird lemon on a pedestal. Let's get rid of these weird bits on the end of the lemon, because they don't make sense. Okay, got that. Then let's get rid of these weird bits, too. Why not? These are not symmetrical selections whatsoever, but we can fix that, I think. So it'll be fine. Um, let's go ahead and flip horizontal. Let me go ahead and do something. Oh. Now we have, like, the lemon negative. We have the nega lemon. The evil lemon. See what happens if we brighten it up now. Okay, interesting. Um, <laughs> where is this piece going? That is the question. We have an orb now. That's kind of funky. Kind of like that. It's very like sci-fi kind of feeling. Uh, 
Let's go grab the lemon and put it back in here for some reason. Let's see what we can do. Interesting. <laughs> Let's grab the bat. <laughs> Where's the bat at? Where is he? Um, I think this was the bat. Yeah. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool, too. I don't mind that. I think lighter color is the one so far. Well, these are kind of interesting, too. Okay. So let's take that and then lighter color. Yeah. Okay. What is this piece? <laughs> what is this? Um, interesting. That gives us a bit more like void space to work with, which is always cool. Flipping upside down is not bad. I don't know what, like, the silhouette of this is, but it just looks like a really, like, happy owl. <laughs> like, the face up here and then, like, wings. Or it's, like, O2 from, um, Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards, but he's, like, inverted color scheme. Well, now it's definitely, that's O2. <laughs> that is the boss man himself. Let's see... Kind of like that. Oh, do I have to merge it with more? Okay. Hmm. What am I making? <laughs> like, I do just feel like I'm making O2, kind of, but. I think we're getting somewhere interesting. So it's a little bit of Samus's ship up here from Metroid. <laughs> we're just getting all the like Nintendo references. Um, let's see. I kind of want to make like some sort of weird like bottom part to it. So let's see what we can do. Okay, interesting. I don't know what that face in the middle is. I think the color is right. Oh, now it's like the Thundercat symbol. <laughs> okay. It's very much like, where is this going? <laughs> Um, okay, and then let's lighten again, maybe? I just think all the colors aren't going well together, but I think that's to be expected at this point. So we might have to... Well, I want the Thundercat symbol to come back in there, but... Where'd that go? Color... Okay. Interesting. Okay, we, yeah, we gotta fix the color scheme. <laughs> How, though, is the question. But we're just gonna wiggle this around until something comes out. We might have to use color overlay, though. Um, yeah, I think that is going to be our best bet at this point. <laughs> You're digging all the colors. 
you say that as I'm like actively getting rid of them. <laughs> I feel so bad now. <laughs> okay, maybe I should keep them. Okay. But we gotta like... I don't know if it needs to be like desaturated or something. Or if we just need to like remove certain colors or like overwrite them or something to like get it to blend in better. Let's see here. Hmm. Maybe we could just make this one vertically symmetrical and it'll be cool. I don't really know. I don't know. Kind of like subtract just because it kind of... I think maybe we could take subtract and then like add that back in. Let's see here. We take light in. And then like stretch it out maybe. I don't really know. And the arm hurtiness is getting a little bit worse. <laughs> so I guess it's a good thing that we'll be ending this stream here in a bit, but... I kind of want to just like add like a gradient or something around like the edges. Oh, that's like the most useless gradient of all time, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, okay. This isn't gonna do what I thought it would do, maybe. I was like, is there a way that I could just cheat having vignette, kind of? But it does not seem so. But maybe this will... something? It did not. It did not something. <laughs> I don't really know. Hold on. Okay, then let's do color overlay maybe. Uh, let's see, let's just remove some background detail we don't need. Let's focus on this weird face that's in the center. <laughs> Just gonna kind of sketch away at that a little bit. Let's get rid of this part too. Okay, we'll take that. Um, merge, crop. Where'd the bat go? <laughs> From before it was a lemon. Okay. And then we're gonna try and like fuse this together somehow into something. What? I don't know. But it will be something. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Um... <laughs> I think we're just gonna be stuck with the bat. <laughs> I don't think I can make anything else. I also feel like my brain's starting to like slip away the more that my arm's starting to hurt. So. <laughs> I'm glad that you like the clown dog thing. <laughs> I didn't even think about it like that. But it makes total sense. 
But it's like, I don't really know what to do with it, you know? I just don't know. Let's see, what happens if we polar coordinates it? We get that, wherever that is. Okay. Kind of creepy. Make some room between the two. Got that going on, wherever that is now. <laughs> Um, we have the crop again. Oh no. I actually think that's kind of weird. I don't know. It's like weird in like a not totally horrible way. Man, my art style has changed so much over, like, the previous, like, just few streams, I feel like. It's been so weird. I kind of like this, though, now. <laughs> It's kind of starting to come together a little bit, Ellie's. Ellie's be shrinking a little bit. Um, feels like it needs something along like the bottom. That's kind of creepy, though. <laughs> You're getting a little scary. This is what the <laughs> the Clifford live action's gonna look like, probably. I don't know. Um, let's see here. So subtract. So I have to make this like a solid brush then. Well, I don't know. Okay, interesting. Let's see, <laughs> music. <laughs> It's too much. Let's find something fun and calm. Okay. Let's just get more focus on the face, I guess. Okay. Still want something along the bottom, though. Somehow I made a suit from Evangelion. <laughs> kind of what that looks like, but okay. Um, what if we just have like the dog head on the Evangelion suit? Honestly, that's not too bad. I think the Evangelion seat needs to be, like, stretched out more or something, though. But... Uh, um... That might be... Well, is there more we can fix on this? Oh, man. My mouse is, like, being weird. <laughs> I think my foot's blocking again. It's probably the thing. Always happens. Okay. What more can we do to this? A 
clear dodge add. Wasn't too bad. It kind of gets rid of like the shadow dimension on the face though. Hmm. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> so maybe not linear dodge add, but I don't know. Maybe it's good. Maybe we need something like down at the bottom still though, but. The Shadow Realm. I don't know. Let's look at the filter gallery real quick. Let's see if there's anything we can add per se. Could make it blue. <laughs> kind of like the red though. I don't think we did a red piece today, so... And then the one thing is it's not symmetrical, I don't think. So we gotta fix that a little bit. Yeah, I think that fixes that. And then we'll look at the filter gallery once more, but actually, like, try looking at it, like, legitimately this time. <laughs> Instead, I was just like, oh, a silhouette, that's nice, and then called it good. Oh, that's kind of cool. I mean, that's also just a silhouette, though. <laughs> but it is interesting. Um, I feel like if I do that, it's either got to be linear dodge add or lighter color. Well, color dodge ain't so bad, too. Hmm. But maybe not 100%. No, it's got to be all or nothing. Hmm, okay. Which one do I like more? I can't decide. I don't know. <laughs> oh no. The indecision once more. But I think we're pretty much almost done with this one. Yeah, I think it's done. I think it's good. I don't know. What do we think? Is this one good? It's the weird dog robot. Uh, Neon Joe says. <laughs> Evangelion, whatever this thing is. <laughs> do we like it? Well, what if I, like, fuse these? And then, like, blend both them. Okay, so we have before and after... And then we could, like, I don't know, fuse them somehow. Or not. <laughs> or we just call it good. I think it's good. <laughs> I think this one's decent. I don't really know about, like, this, like, outside detail stuff, but I felt like if there was nothing there, it would feel, like, weird. But maybe it does need more of, like, a um, gradual vignette kind of thing to the edge. So let's see what we could do with that. Even if it's just like that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really, per se, help. <laughs> But, but yeah, I think it's good. Cool. Um, yeah, and what to name this? <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Part of me just wants to name it Dog Bot because <laughs> it's like a dog robot. But 
Um... <laughs> we could do the art randomizer thing again. Hold on. Oh, one of these had the word mechanical. That works. I don't think we've named anything mechanical. Perfect. Yeah! <laughs> Talk about <laughs> Evangelion Digimon. But I think mechanical works. I think that's it's fine. <laughs> it's just a name. And then we'll look back at all the five pieces that we did. And then I'm going to go eat dinner and then probably like chill the rest of the day. Because my arm's starting to hurt a little bit more. But still fine. But I should probably, now that I've force myself to stream post-vaccination. Maybe I should actually chill <laughs> the rest of the day or just watch cartoons or something. I don't know. Something that doesn't require arm use will be cool. But, but I'm really glad we like made art today. Turned out good. So, so here's all the pieces that we did today. So we had our first one, Possession. Turned out cool. Idea, which also I think is cool. I'm really excited to like get this one on my phone and like zoom in and out on it and like see all the like little like textures and details. I always like doing that. And the dragon one, which looks really cool also. <laughs> I still don't know how I get these like weird like skull shapes out of Photoshop, but I don't know. It's always interesting seeing what comes out. So, and then translation, which is really cool too. I like this one a lot, even though we made this one in like, I don't know, it felt like 10 minutes or something. But translation's cool. Um, and then mechanical. Yeah. I like that too. So, five pieces, one stream. <laughs> Complete. So, that said, probably gonna go make some dinner and chill and, I don't know, recover and all that. So, yeah. <laughs> Though, as per usual, like give a little like thanks or whatnot i always appreciate like if you're watching like live on twitch here or stopping by or if you check out the bots and stuff later or if you like uh watch it on youtube or whatnot wherever you're watching this stuff at i always appreciate it it's always cool to have an audience and people like checking out the art and all that and then later on probably tomorrow usually i post them the same day but i should probably chillax the rest of the day so i can stop the arm hurty <laughs> um but i'll post all this stuff on red bubble and teespring and dark room and stuff so if you want to check it out there you can and yeah that said i'm gonna transition to the ending stream screen and peace out and go get some dinner and i Hope everyone else has a good day too. So with that said, let's go ahead and click on ending stream screen. I'll do a small wave with my left hand because I can't do much more than that without it getting all hurty. But <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you like the art. So I like doing these streams. So ending stream screen. Here we go. Three, two, one. Bye. <laughs> And as per usual, as for always, thanks for watching. <laughs>